Hello friends, welcome to Rick and Lisa's Kitchen and Garden. Today I want to show you how to control these little devils from sucking your plants dry. When you bring in plants from the outdoors in for the winter, sometimes you get unwanted passengers. These are aphids. I'll show you how to deal with them. Number one, you can just cut off the infected parts of the plant you notice how they gather on the flower buds of this mandeville? Well, that's where to look for them. The tender bits where they attach themselves and suck away the juices. If you don't want to cut away your plant, then I'll show you other options. Here's a spray solution you can make. I use one cup of water. I use Dawn liquid soap. And I use a half a teaspoon of that soap and mix it with water. And uh, you can put it in a bottle and spray it on the top and bottom of the leaves and wipe down the plant uh, with a paper towel to control, uh, remove the aphids that are there. If you want to make it even uh, stronger, you can chop up some cloves of garlic and then let that sit for 24 hours before you mix it in and then filter it before you put it in the spray bottle so the particles don't clog up the, the spray bottle. If you have essential oils, you can add uh, two drops each of the cedar wood, peppermint, and uh, rosemary uh, to one cup of water and use that as a spray solution as well. Uh, add a little bit of that uh, liquid detergent and uh, that should control uh, the aphids, repel the aphids as well. Another possible solution is to use uh, neem oil. Uh, I have a video on mixing the, the ratio of neem oil. You should use uh, lukewarm water for that um, make about a 1% solution so 1% uh, say 10 milliliters of uh, neem oil should be good for uh, a liter of uh, warm water all right I made a solution of the essential oils the soap and the garlic all in one jar and I'm observing it under a microscope and I've got a, uh, it's a variable magnification. I've got a software and a camera. So as you can see, here's the uh, close-up that I captured. And it actually seems to stop them in their tracks. I tested it, I just dipped it in, uh, with a Q-tip. And uh, they're not moving. I think that kills them in their tracks. I'll have to try it on the plant now.